Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Taisha. Thank you so much for joining me for today's new video. We're going to be testing out a bunch of new makeup releases from the drugstore. Of course, I have the new Love Struck palette from Profusion. You guys know how much I love this palette, so hopefully this one's good. Um, I also have a bunch of new hard candy makeup. I guess they're like rebranding and everything looks so pretty, so we will see how it works. And I also will be reviewing the new Wet n Wild Dewy Foundation. So many of you guys wanted me to try this freaking foundation out. So here it is, you guys. I will also be doing a little wear test, so stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, that's it for the intro. Without further ado, let's zoom the camera in and let's get started. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and clip my hair out of the way. I burn myself, you guys, with the straightener. It hurts so much. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and do the eyebrows with you guys because I have a new product from Revolution Beauty that is for, like, cleaning up your brows. So I'm just going to go ahead and do my brows really quickly. And this is the product I'm talking about. This is the Conceal and Fix Brow. Well, it's not technically for the brow, but I like to use thick concealers like this to clean up the brow area. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really nice packaging. I feel like Revolution or Makeup Revolution has really nice packaging, like more expensive, you know? So I picked this up in the color medium yellow. I do not know why. I got this online. So we are going to go ahead and see. Oh, I just stick my finger right into it. I hate when I do that. I don't even have nails and I still do that. So this concealer, it's not specifically for underneath the eye area. It might be a little bit too thick, um, but it is designed to cover, you know, dark marks and stuff, which is why I wanted to try this out for my brows. Because like I said, I do like a more thicker concealer. So I'm going to be taking my Focalor little brush and let's see how this works for the brows. It is super thick. Kind of giving me like the NARS concealer. You know how they have like a little jar and they have concealer like that? Um, I feel like they're trying to replicate that. I have, ne I have never tried that one, so I cannot tell you they're the same. But this concealer is thick. It's going to be great for when you have really like dark spots. It's going to be great for that. And then I go in with my brow pencil. Um, the only one I'm seeing right now is this one from Benefit. I usually like to use my Maybelline one because it's a little bit lighter than this one. But... They're both great brow pencils, and this is in the color 4. I'm usually at 3.5, but they sent over some brow stuff, and this is the color I got. Oh, you guys, this hurts so much. This is what I get for doing my hair in a rush. I did it in like 20 minutes. So this is what the brows are looking like. Hopefully they look good on camera, um, but... My eyebrows are not even freaking twin sisters, cousins. I don't even know what they are. But this is what it looks like. And I actually really like this product. Super thick, super creamy. But remember, this will give you a lot of coverage. We can apply it somewhere in our faces um, to see later on how it covers that. But I'm going to go ahead and move on to the eyes now. I'm just going to use a primer. I wanted to use my Anastasia one. But I don't know where it's at. Yeah, I do not know where it's at. So I'm just going to be taking the concealer from um, CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Concealer. True Blend Concealer. There you go. In the color M100. And I'm going to use this to prime my eyes. You guys, my neighbor listens to the most loudest music ever. Like, I do not mind if you listen to loud music when I'm not filming videos. But when I'm filming videos... I need you to not listen to your loud ass music. So hopefully right now he doesn't come back and plays his loud ass music. Because it's so annoying. Me está desesperando, you know? We are prime and we are ready to try the Love Struck palette. So cute for Valentine's Day, even though Valentine's Day is over. I still think the 2020 like makeup, it's like really pink vibes. I feel like every release has been really pink. So this is what this palette looks like. It retails for $15 and you do get 35 shades. I have the Sunkiss palette for reference. You guys know how much I love this palette. They're so good. You get to try out different colors and you don't get to spend that much money, you know? So here's the Sunkiss compared to the Love Struck palette. Very different. You see? And this is drugstore, you guys. You get to try a bunch of shades. And then this is the Mirage palette. This one does give me similar vibes, but they are different. They're like 
sisters you know they complement each other really well and you know what you guys i was looking at this palette the new one this is the mirage this is the new one they are different but i was looking at this palette and it's kind of giving me like jacqueline hill morphe vibes you know the volume two right like don't you get that same vibe so if you guys do not want to get that palette you guys can definitely get either both of them or probably the mirage and you can get the same effect i did order that one so it should be arriving soon so yeah this is the palette i have played with it before i wanted to swatch it i wanted to see how it works and honestly you guys the glitters on this palette are 10 times more creamier than the other ones i can feel so much better quality um i'm not gonna be using it because i am gonna do a wear test and i do not like to wear glitter for that long i just do not like it near my eye do you guys see how creamy that is and this is only 15 dollars. i feel like their glitter is getting 10 times better so we have that glitter and then the only bad thing about this palette is that the names again comes in that little sticky thing so i just put it right here but the glitters are super creamy this color right here you guys when i swatched it i was like what is that color i have never seen it, this type of color and you guys see how pigmented that is even this shade is pigmented like you get so many interesting shades for 15 dollars. i really really like profusion makeup so i'm gonna be taking the shade hmm, i'm gonna take these two shades here because i love to start with the neutral base so i'm taking the color clay and spirit with a jh31 brush and i'm just gonna use this to blend everything out going in circular motions upwards so i'm starting like this and then upwards like that this is why i love not wearing foundation and i saw on the comments a lot of you guys do not like to wear foundation before eyeshadow so you guys are my people i knew it i knew we are the same i'm gonna be taking a more denser fluffy brush like the morphe m505 and i'm gonna be taking the shade lilac tap excess and apply it on the lid Something I did notice about this palette is that you want to make sure you tap it in first so you can actually get like the most pigment. So you see I'm tapping, tap excess, and then pack it in. And then I'll start to blend it out. I never do lilac makeup. I feel like this is my first palette that I ever have that has like a lilac to it and i think it's super trendy lately and it's really pretty it's perfect for the spring i cannot wait for the spring even though yes you get allergies but it's better than the cold weather and the cold weather i can't even move because i have so many jackets on and it's so cold oh my god i'm gonna be taking this la girl lilac um eye pencil i think that's what it's called or it's called vivid the color is vivid these are so pigmented and creamy look at that so pretty so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this as a liner here on the lash line mira see you see and then i'm gonna take a little like angle brush um yeah like this one this is the jh43 brush and what i'm gonna do next is take the color i think it's called rain and it's this really pretty color here i think i really like profusion palettes because you get to try out like interesting shades like i don't have a shade like this and you don't have to spend that much money on it you know so if you don't like the color on you you didn't spend that much money and you can always return it because walmart accepts everything Goldmar really does. I see people returning food, returning like half empty stuff. So I don't know. I wish I had my elf um, stickers that I used to have. Remember those? But I don't know where they're at. I don't know where nothing's at. You guys already know how I am. So I'm just going to be taking this. It's like a container. This is not a container. You guys know what I mean. This is like the little where the packaging, this is the packaging of a makeup product. I'm going to go upward. Okay, this is not looking how I want it to look. I'm just going to take the darkest purple there is, and that's called Renaissance. So I'm going to take this one and apply it on the lower lash line. And then with the lashes, it's going to look like a whole ass look. 
So I'm just gonna take that and apply it as close as I can. Just to give me more dimension, you know? I just noticed this is an all matte purple look. That's really pretty. All right, so this is what the look is looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. I bought this one again, the Maybelline Falsies Mascara. I used to really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead, apply some mascara and lashes, and I will be right back. All right, so I went ahead and applied the lashes. These are Body Be Lashes in the Style Plastic, in case you guys are wondering. One of my favorite ones at the moment. And yeah, guys, see, I told you, the look is super simple. Apply some lashes and you're going to look so good. Or apply a lot of mascara and it's going to look so good. So I'm going to go ahead and just finish off the face. So you guys, there's a new primer from Heart Candy. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so this is the Heart Candy Smoothing Primer Balm. This is supposed to make make your face look poreless and appears so it says helps minimize pores and appearance of fine lines this is exactly like the elf putty primer so that's what it looks like i already used it once yesterday and look at the texture you guys it's so like bouncy like do you guys see how bouncy that is um and then i have here the where is the putty primer i have here the putty primer I don't remember this one being so bouncy. Yeah, see, this one's like a lot thicker. So this is the e.l.f. one and then this is the Hard Candy. So Hard Candy has really, really good prices. I think everything is less than $6, which is amazing. So hopefully this works. I just tried it out. I didn't do a wear test or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and grab some. See, it's like so like creamy. I don't know. It's so weird. So I'm going to apply some here on the pores. So pretty much all over my face, the cheek right here, the nose area, and then a little bit on the forehead. And for the other side, I'm going to use my regular matte primer. So I'm taking the Farsali liquid powder. This is really mattifying, you guys. I got this on the Trend Mood box, and it's super, super, super mattifying. So you really got to make sure you work it in there. So once I do that, let's try out the new Wet n Wild foundation. I have the color Desert Beige and also Medium Beige, just so we can see which color matches me better. So this is supposed to be a hydrating, smooth complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage for normal to dry skin. Um, but I have heard it's very long wearing, so... We will see. I have tried this before already too. I have not done a wear test. And what I can tell you is that this is super, super dewy. So I feel like all the dry skin girls and guys out there are going to love this. And it feels really nice quality too. When a while always kills it. So Desert Beige is described as a medium dark. And Golden Beige is a medium warm. So this one's a medium dark. And this is a medium warm. So... See, this is golden beige, which is really light. Yeah, this is super light, but it might match me. So that's golden beige. And then this is desert beige. And this foundation is less than $6, I think it is. And I got mine at Walmart, okay? You guys see how dewy this is? Kind of makes me look like I have my life together. Like, it looks like I drink water, you know? everything i eat healthy and then that's the burn so you guys can see it didn't really cover that much this side doesn't really have any imperfections other than dark marks but you see how different it covers compared to the other side with imperfections so you have any acne you are gonna need more than one layer and desert beige i feel like it's the best color for me like it's just my color right now but I like to mix it in with the other shade because it just creates like that perfect warm neutral undertone. So that's what it's looking like. I need to get a little brush and blend this concealer here. So I'm gonna move on to concealer. This is the Born to Glow concealer and I'm in the color True Beige. Um, by the way, you guys, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, this foundation feels really nice on the skin. It feels very lightweight. It feels really expensive too. And I do not mind a more hydrating concealer either. What I don't like is a hydrating foundation. 
like for me i'd rather stick to matte foundation and hydrating concealer you know and like i said i have tried all these products yesterday because the video didn't work out so i have originally done like a wear test or a first impressions and then i realized that i didn't record half of it so i have this new one from l'oreal this is called the infallible loose setting powder it says long lasting no white cast and it's lightweight so we're gonna go ahead and see if that's actually true and i picked it up in the color 612 translucent so i'm gonna go ahead and apply some i haven't heard that many people talking about this powder i feel like i haven't had i haven't heard nobody talk about it so we'll see how it works out feels really lightweight or it looks lightweight that's what it looks like and i'm gonna set my face because i need the setting powder like i really need to look mad and then i'm gonna do it to this other eye doesn't really look that blurring it looks like a really natural setting powder i don't feel like it's really blurring that much i like the color though the powder seems like whatever it's not really covering you guys know i love a smoothing powder that gives you a little bit extra coverage this one seems okay so i'm gonna move on to some bronzer and some blush like i told you guys hard candy is like rebranding everything so they came out with some new bronzers this is called the matte bronzer in the shade maui matte so this is what it's looking like really really pretty it says it's made out of mango butter so i'm hoping for something really smoothing on the skin especially if you have texture this is really nice because it's gonna be like smoothing and stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and just grab a little angle brush this is from doe color and i'm gonna apply this on the cheekbones and i'm bronzing up the forehead and i believe they only had like two colors available so hopefully they can release more shades because this one's pretty light like it's working fine for me but it's not really giving me that much color you know it looks really natural and really pretty but if you have dark skin i don't think this color is gonna work for you but i like how smoothing it is and it's not like getting like attached to one part of my face sometimes i notice bronzers can do that but this one looks really smoothing i like this and it does not smell like mango you know you would think but it doesn't so that's good for sensitive skin and then for blush they released the same collection but this is in the color i think it's called cheek me out <laughs> that's so funny so this is a soft and luxurious finely milled blush and they had this shade and then another color but of course i wanted a matte blush and it doesn't smell like mango either I guess the mango butter is just to make it look like more smoothing I guess I wonder what mango butter is for but this is a really pretty color okay my skin now is looking really pretty oh I forgot you guys they also came out with like a new translucent setting powder so I'm gonna go ahead and put this underneath the eye I'll apply this underneath this eye and then right here so when we take the flash picture you guys can see what it looks like combined this is really smoothing it says camera ready setting powder that won't flash back or cause a white cast effortless building coverage helps to absorb oil and lock in makeup throughout the day kind of reminds me of the Fenty Beauty one you know they have something similar to that so that's like the vibe it's giving me let me apply a little bit more bronzer here let me contour my cheeks you know make me look a little bit skinnier i like to go like this and then like that this is a really everyday bronzer and blush that's like the best way to explain it really pretty all i have to do is finish off my lower lash line and then some lips and we are good to go so for the lower lash line i think i'm just gonna go in with this shade because it's so pretty um it's called festival i think it's this really pretty like purple pink color what's that color you guys do you guys know the exact name it's so pretty um it's really different oh shit it's pigmented too so 
so be careful so i'm gonna go ahead and blend this right here underneath the eye area you see i'm just gonna go really messily like that that's a really pretty shade i'm going with this purple shade this one and pack it in okay and then I'm gonna go in with that purple again, the dark purple, the Renaissance, I think that's what it's called. And then just apply it closely. Okay, you guys, this is actually really pretty. I'm kind of liking purple now. But doesn't this give you like Jaclyn Hill palette vibes? Like it's kind of giving me the same concept. And I'm gonna take the liner that we used at the beginning. Do you guys remember the Ellie Girl one? And I'm gonna apply it here. Ah, it just tickles. Okay, beauty is pain. Beauty is pain. I'm all exaggerating, you guys. It's not even painful, but it just tickles so much. So there we have it, you guys. It looks really pretty. It's like a smoky purple eye look. And then I'm gonna do my inner corner before I forget. So I'm thinking in this color here, let me swatch it. That's pretty, it's really lightweight. I mean lightweight, it's very, you know, like a topper color. So I'm gonna go in, I think it's called Mega Fine. And I'm gonna apply it. Well, I think this is a little bit too dark for the inner corner. Let me bring it up. You guys know I'll I love going like this and then bringing it up towards the crease. So I'm gonna take this color and this is called Pose, Pose, I don't know. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, this is like a lavender fantasy eye look. Do you guys apply a lot of lower lash mascara or not really? Because I like to go in with like five layers okay i'm exaggerating like two layers all right so the eyes are done um i almost forgot to tell you guys i also went in with the color ballet 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 um this is really pretty pink color here and i apply it in the inner corner and i am loving how my makeup is looking like so i'm gonna go ahead and move on to the lips um by the way you guys i'm starting to notice like the dewiness still peeking through so even after powder you can still see like the dewy effect and i honestly don't really like my under eye area either i feel like my foundation is really weak like my foundation game today is just not that good so i'm gonna go ahead and do the lips i got so many recommendations so thank you so much on my lip combo video if you guys haven't watched it make sure you guys go ahead and do so so i got recommended this l'oreal lip liner in the color toffee to be so i'm gonna go ahead and use it they're really, really creamy. So thank you so much for this recommendation. I went out and bought so many new lip colors, you guys, because of all of you. And then I'm going to go in with this L'Oreal Matte Lip Crayons. Um, these are new. I really like the color. It's super cute. You guys know me and my nudes. And this is in the color 510. Okay, I actually like this color they're creamy and matte i feel like both sides honestly look exactly the same even though i have a really mattifying primer on this side it looks the same so what i'm gonna do next is just apply my favorite setting spray this is the maybelline one to one side of my face and then for this side we're just gonna leave it alone because i really want to see how it looks if i actually use like everything matte you know so let me see Alright, so I did half of my face with setting spray. So I went ahead and finished my makeup. Right now it's currently 12.08. Um, but I've actually been wearing this foundation since 11.30. So I'm just going to say I've been wearing this makeup since 11.30. It just took me a while because I had to stop. And you know how it goes when you do your makeup. Um, but yeah, guys, this is what everything is looking like so far. I honestly really dislike how my foundation looks like. My skin looks horrible. Do not let this freaking camera fool you in person my skin looks so bad you guys even after i apply so much 
you know, setting powder, I apply my setting spray and everything. This foundation is so dewy that you can still see it. So, which is amazing because that's exactly what it claims to do. So, if you have dry skin, you're going to love this foundation. And it actually feels really nice. It's really pretty foundation. It's just a no for me as a full coverage girl as a matte girl this is just a no for me but i'm still gonna go ahead and do a wear test both sides look equally the same in my opinion even though i have a mattifying primer and i have setting spray i feel like both sides look equally the same so like i said right now it's 1209 i'm just gonna say i've been wearing this since 11 30 and i'm gonna go throughout my day and i will be back but i can't talk and i will be back in a couple of hours well for me and for you in a second so i'll be right back all right guys so i am back it is currently 3 54 p.m and honestly you guys i am so 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 oily um well it's pretty like expected for me to be oily because this is a dewy foundation but it has only been less than four hours and look how oily you guys i look this foundation is a no for me and honestly not even wearing a mattifying primer makes it a lot better like you can just see it's dewy so if you have dry skin or normal skin you know and you love a dewy foundation you're gonna love 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 this foundation it is pretty long wearing because everything is still on the only thing that for me of course it's a little bit too dewy for me but for you you're gonna end up loving this foundation and it definitely feels really high quality i would not compare this to the non radiant foundation at least on me the nars one looks way better and it lasts way longer without getting so oily so beautiful foundation but it's not oily skin friendly at all and then okay let's talk about stuff that i actually really enjoyed so i really really enjoyed the hard candy bronzer and blush i'm so excited to try this out with my actual like everyday products you know and see how they look with that but i really like how lightweight the bronzer is and how smooth it applies so i really like this and then the blush the same thing they just apply so nice and the color is a matte color and it's like pigmented but not too pigmented you know hello and i love the whole rebrand the pink it's really pretty i feel like it makes it stand out more at the drugstore so really i'm excited to see how this works with my regular foundation you know and my regular face stuff so i really like that and then i also really like the profusion palette i mean what do we expect you know profusion releases so many pretty combinations and the pigmentation is really good just keep in mind you do have to work with them a little bit more so just don't expect to go like that and then apply it and get straight up pigment you want to make sure you tap it in tap excess and then you know start you'll start getting pigmentation little bit by little and yeah i guess that's pretty much all i really enjoyed i have to keep using the makeup revolution concealer i do feel like it's a little bit too thick but again i'm wearing it with the wrong products when it comes to the powder that we use the l'oreal one this is a really nice setting powder it has no flashback as well as the um hard candy translucent powder now this i'm excited to try out with my regular makeup because they do not give you any flashback as you guys saw from the pictures so yeah guys that's it i cannot wait to go and remove this makeup because i feel so oily i have my blotting sheets here let me see how they look let me see how my makeup looks look i feel so oily like oh my god look at this oh my god i am such an oily mess and this is only like less than four hours so i can just imagine this at the end of the day it's just no no me gusta so that's pretty much all you guys i have for today's video i really hope you enjoyed my honest review on all these products everything i mentioned will be linked below in case you might want to try something check the description box below and yeah let me know what you guys think of this makeup let me know what you think of this product if you guys have tried anything let me know in the comments below and that's it you guys thank you for watching and hanging out with me and i will see you guys very soon on the next video bye guys